Hey guys, so in high school, high school is very strange because in high school it's not how intelligent you are, it's not how creative, it's not how talented you are, it's essentially how well you play the major, major sports. I did track and I did tennis, so neither of them were major sports, but I enjoyed doing them and yeah, so I was, again, I wasn't popular in high school and I sat at this table which people did play magic at the table and I played magic at the table and I remember in middle school um, when I was in 8th grade my friend Phil got into a fight with a 7th grader because he took his magic cards and ripped them and I actually our 7th grade English teacher was actually the biggest bully of them all he, uh, he took all magic cards and put them in the recycle bin so magic itself and especially in high school doesn't have a very good connotation to it at least in my high school, if you play magic, then that meant you automatically sat at the uncool table and people could kind of pick on you a little bit because you play magic. And remember, magic when I was in high school was definitely not mainstream at all. This was, I don't know, I don't know. I graduated 2005, so I'm going to guess it's like 2001 when Onslaught came out. It Magic was not popular at all. It was considered, and nerds and geeks were not you know, as popular as they are now, which and as mainstream, actually I'm keep using the word mainstream, but it really is. Um, so back then you did have uh, the jock type and who, for the most part, like I'm gonna say in high school talent, creativity, intelligence is not valued very highly in terms of uh, how attractive someone is. So mental attractiveness is not really a concept that most high schooler students grasp as well as they do nowadays. Like when they're older, when you're 26 years old, I'm, I can tell you I've dated some very good looking females, but now like I'm trying to find someone who I'm mentally attracted to, who I get, who can debate me. I love, I mean, as crazy as this sounds, I just love when um, someone can fight me and win the argument because I'm very, again, I have all this type of logical training and all of this stuff, which I've been trained by you know, one of the best, two of the best universities slash grad schools. And um, my logic is actually very solid because I've been a patent agent since 2009 and I passed that. So we're getting off topic. Anyway, in high school, if you are a magic player, be proud of it. You know, it, times have changed. Now it's much more mainstream and you can admit that you're a magic player without fear of repercussion, I guess. But back when I was um, in high school, it was very different.